Mariama, a native of the village of Jahali, is collecting firewood with her brother-in-law, Mutar. On a small hill, they have discovered several dried out trees. It's good wood. It's a hard piece of work. It's not easy, says Mariama. It's a two kilometer walk from the village to this place. Actually, it's really men's work to find wood regularly. But if the wood is finished before the men go again, I have to go find it for myself. I have a small baby who is still breastfeeding. I have to work very hard, and I'm often out for three hours or more to collect wood. So I often run late, and sometimes I find it difficult to care for my baby properly. This is a real problem for me. Wood is scarce in the Gambian bush. People have to walk further and further each day to find it or they have to purchase it for high prices at the local market. We are a large family, Mariama says. This pile of wood lasts possibly one or two days. We use a lot of wood because we're such a big family. When we cook our meals, this does not last long, maybe a day or two. The traditional way to cook is on the open fire. Mariama needs about one metric ton of wood yearly, which she carries home bit by bit. The scarcity of combustible resources hits the Gambia hard. However, the land is fertile, and along the river banks, bananas, rice, vegetables, and groundnuts are cultivated. During the rainy season later in the year, the country is leafy and green. Only the lack of a forest is a problem. We have to wait for two or three more days. Back in Mariama's home, Matthias Kettler and Jürgen Frober of Project Aid are discussing with Yukusi, the head of the family. This is his compound where the two Germans want to construct a prototype of a new mud oven for Mariama and the other women to see how efficient it will be. Jürgen and Matthias and two skilled workers have brought along a prototype wooden mold for the design and a plan for the oven's construction. We became inspired by this design, Jürgen says, which was passed on to us from the experiences of the government of Uganda in cooperation with German GTZ. Here you see the outer form of the oven that will be removed later on. The difficulty of an extended family kitchen is that there are so many open fires going at the same time. They place the cooking pots on top of three large stones. In this kitchen, 16 women cook the meals for the compound families. Small children sometimes fall on the fire and suffer serious injuries. Perhaps most difficult for the women every day, however, is to endure the dense smoke and intense heat inside the kitchen. Every night my eyes are burning because of the smoke here, says Mariama. The irritation is very severe, and sometimes I can hardly sleep. The conditions in the kitchen are very hard to stand. Some young men from the village have provided 150 mud blocks. There's plenty of mud around Jahali and the blocks are easily dried in the sun. Financially, the bricks cost next to nothing. The workers are building the oven in the dark kitchen, but the blocks are a different size than what was drafted on the drawing board in Germany. This is why the workers using a cutlass to resize the blocks. John, the masoner, uses small pieces of mud, water, and a bit of cement with his bare feet to produce mortar, to later plaster the oven. The mud, in fact, is just perfect as a construction material, Jürgen says. As we just witnessed, it's as easy as taking stones and breaking them down to produce a mud mortar from it. Once dry, the oven will be strong, and there will be no leftover materials at all. According to the German design, however, it should have taken no more than a single day to construct the prototype, but as often happens, it takes a little longer. Considering that this is our first attempt, Jürgen says, and we had to learn how to place the blocks, I have to say that it turned out pretty well after all. Over a hundred people live in this compound. Most of the families live solely from agriculture. Some occasionally receive outside support from Europe or America, so little by little, they're able to gain small wealth couple of goats, three old cars, and every now and then a few liters of fuel for the generator. Jahali village is not connected to any public electricity system. Matthias Kettler is committed to Project Aid, which he created as an NGO 20 years ago. For the people of Jahali, he has already constructed a clinic and a nursery school. Time and time again, he has come up with new ideas to better the lives of the villagers. One day soon, these mud ovens will be found in every single compound of Jahali village.
We have lived here for extended periods, Matthias says. We have many contacts, we have developed many social contacts directly with the villagers. We have found that much can be done by simple and common gestures. To back off now from this project feels like a crime. I can't do that. The people here count on us. This afternoon, many women from the village are coming to the health center to visit the staff kitchen. If it works, Matthias is explaining to Mariama and the other women the advantages of the oven. Public relations officer Fatu is showing them how to use it. It's a nice one. I want to get this oven for my own house. If a child falls down... Matthias is asking the women if it's possible for their children to fall into this fire. No, no, they answer. You see, says Matthias, this oven has so many advantages and you will use far less wood than before. So you don't have to look always for the firewood. The women appreciate that the oven hardly produces any smoke, as it has a chimney to direct the smoke outside. As Fatu is explaining the elements of the oven, it is clear the women are impressed. They can hardly believe it. Fatu translates, that soon every compound will have one. They are really very happy about that. The next day back in Meriyama's compound, the oven with two cooking places is almost ready. Matthias and Jürgen bring concrete rings for the oven which allow different size of pots. However, the design is not yet perfected. There's a problem with the design, Jürgen says. If we want to cook something here and keep food warm over here, we cannot just exchange the pot. We also need to change the rings, and it is really quite some work to manage it. So we've had to reconsider how to overcome this issue. When Yaya the carpenter finally lights the fire, a very important fact is, is that the smoke is traveling through the chimney. However, before the women can actually start cooking, the mortar has to dry out completely. The German team is heading back to the administrative office on the coast, and the women of Jahali remain standing at their new oven for a long time. Total cost of construction and materials is less than 10 euros per oven. This is a real benefit for the families of Jahali, and also plays a role in the protection of the Gambian environment.